I'd like to see Mrs. Thursday, please. Yes, sir. You and a few thousand other people, sir. Uh, it's urgent, very urgent. I'm a friend, you see. Oh, I don't doubt it, sir. Uh, have you got an appointment, sir? Oh, well, no. Well, I'm afraid it's out of the question, sir. You'll have to ride in. Well, this can't wait. Oh, it's ever so important, Sergeant. Couldn't you uh, just... Mrs. Once... Thursday, as you may surmise, Miss, is a very busy woman. Now, I'm afraid you'll have to commit your request to writing, Oh, miss. but then it'll be too... I'm sorry, Miss. Hello, what's your issue? Special delivery. Letters for Mrs. Thursday. You get the lot? You're joking, mate. We've got a van load outside and more to come. All right, here. Come What's on, son. Pull them here. Down here. All right, I'll see you, it's, it's essential that we get this matter settled, Mrs. Thursday. Yes. I have the city on the phone to me every quarter of an hour. Really? It's a question of confidence, you understand. I know. It's the uncertainty, you see. The banks are worried, the finance houses are worried, our investors and shareholders are worried. And you're worried, I can see that. Yes, yes, we are. Well, not for ourselves, for the company. Now, we can settle this in a few moments. You want to do the right thing, I know. Can we have your support at the board meeting? That's all we ask. It's merely a question. What's the matter? Stomach. What? You suffer with your stomach, do you? Well, it, it does play me up a bit, but... Uh, but never mind that. The important qu... What made you ask about my stomach? My husband was the same. Chronic. And I always knew, I could always tell. I knew when an attack was coming on before he did. No, wait, wait, have... wait. How could you tell? Well, funny, really. It always showed in his eyes. They used to go sort of light red round the edges and all watery looking. Sure sign. Here, you look. See? See what I mean? Pinky red round the edges and watery looking. Oh, this is ridiculous. You bolt your food, don't you? I lay odds you bolt your food. Look, Bert was the same. The moment he sat down... We were discussing the chairmanship. I can bring you in some medicine. Dr. Daybreak's Indian herb mixture. Best stuff out. Bert swore by it. Yes, yes, thank you. What would you like? The two and nine size or the four and six? The four and six is cheaper in the long run. Whatever you think. Now, can we count on your support at the board meeting, Mrs. Thursday? Oh, well, I'd like to help if I can. Oh. Yes? Mrs. Thursday's called to Canada. And there's a Stockton on the line. It's Pet. It's my daughter. She's on the phone. Oh, I'd never. All that way. What is it? Your private phone, Mrs. Thursday. Oh. Private? Oh, I'm sorry. In here. Hello, Pat. That's you. Oh, Mummy. How are you? How's David? Oh. No. No, they're making a lot of fuss about nothing, dear. No, you see, it's not mine, really. It's a, a sort of trust. How's your leg? Oh. Oh, well, you want to be careful, love. Muscles are funny things. I said muscles can be funny things. No, Mrs. Thurston has no statement to make. I'm sorry. Mr. Graham, the board meeting is at 2.30. Yes. Miss Mackenzie speaking. Yes, Mr. Coles. We'll simply have to put on more stuff to deal with the letters, won't you? Of course the board will authorise it. Hello? Jim. Yes, it's Jean. But I can't talk now, dear. I'm absolutely up against it. I'll try and phone you back later. Bye. Which board? It's Jean Mackenzie here. Will you stop all those calls for a minute? Yes, well, ask them to ring back later or something. Fine. Thank you. Oh, what a morning. Oh, I really don't think there's any point in you waiting. You can see what things are like here. Well, we'll hang on a bit longer, just on the off chance. Miss McKenzie. 
Am I or am I not responsible for the allocation of offices in this building? Yes, Mr. Beacon. Then will you kindly tell me who gave permission for the corner executive suite on this floor to be taken over? I didn't know it had been taken over. It has, Miss Mackenzie. It has. The corner executive suite, mark you. It's been requisitioned for a Mr. Hunter, a gentleman oh, of Mr. whom I... Oh, Mr. Hunter. Mr. Hunter is Mrs. Thursday's uh, personal assistant and business advisor. The corner executive suite for a personal assistant. This really is too much, Miss Mackenzie. Why, that office has its own bathroom. Only directors and top executives are entitled to that. And there's wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. It won't do, Miss Mackenzie. It won't do at all. This Mr. Hunter must be told. Has somebody mentioned my name? Mr. Hunter, Mr. Beacon. Ah, Mr. Hunter. I wanted oh, to have a so word. So you're Beacon. You're just the fellow I need. I'm uh, moving into the office along the corridor, the one on the corner. A trifle on the small side, but uh, it'll suffice. I'm not enamoured of the pictures, my dear chap. I shall want them changed. Uh, Mr. Hunter... And I'd like a decent couch installed. I do a great deal of my thinking in a prone position, you know. And uh, have a selection of secretaries sent for me to look over after lunch, will you? Secretaries? A selection? Well, say half a dozen or so. I shall only want a couple to start with, of course, but uh, one likes to have a choice, hmm? Efficiency combined with charm, that's the sort of thing. And not too mature, naturally. Nothing that's uh, withering on the bow, so to speak. Well, I'm quite sure I can leave it to you. Mrs. Thurs is still in conference. Yes, Mr. Hunter. Oh, then I shall be needed. Excuse me. The Mr. Hunter. The corner executive suite. Your name was... Uh, Beacon. Beacon. Oh, yes. The shining light. I shall make a note of it. Carry on, Beacon. But I have no proper authorization, Miss Mackenzie. I mean, there are channels. Oh, Mr. Beacon, I shouldn't worry about that. I should just do as Mr. Hunter says. Yes, I... I suppose you're right. Well, well, it's most irregular. You know, these are strange and disturbing times, Miss Mackenzie. What is happening to our sense of values? A personal assistant on this floor and in an executive suite. Yes? We're going to lunch, Miss Mackenzie. See that any urgent calls are put through to the director's dining room. Yes, Mr. Lever. Is Mrs. Thursday... She's lunching with us. He's gone to lunch. And there's a board meeting after that. That could take hours. I really don't think there's any point in you waiting. Well, we have to see him. Oh, yes, and before the board meets, it can't be done. Honestly, I'm sorry, but there you are. All right. Well, thanks for your help. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow, perhaps. Oh, but don't. Oh, you can see how it is, Joyce. Well, thanks, Miss McKenzie. You've been very kind. There's a lift just down the corridor. No, all right. We'll find it. Thank you. Gone. Uh, the lift's just along here. Tomorrow will be too late. I know that, you twerp. We weren't doing any good just sitting there waiting. Yeah. Come on, we'll see if we can find it for ourselves. Oh. You know, either she's damn stupid or she's very, very clever. We still don't know what she intends to do, you know. I can't make head and a tail of her. Why is she stalling? Charles? Oh, thank you. Mr. Levi? Uh, I am. Um, I'd like to know where Hunter comes into all this. Don't trust him too much, you know. Uh, Dunrich obviously did. Yeah. Well, we'll just better have another go at them over lunch, that's all, Charles. Nice smiling, Charles, but a show willing. Muriel, just coming, love. No, Harry, just wondered if there was anything you wanted. Oh, no, I've got enough stuff here to stock a chemist's shop. Here, look, I think I'll try a drop of that. Secret of the desert. Smell. Mm, fab. No, I don't think I like it. Never thought I'd see you up here. Well, I never dreamt I'd be up here, dear. Funny things happen, don't they? Yeah, the whole firm's on tender hooks. Half of them are frightened out of their wits. Oh, well, they're worried about their jobs, aren't they? You should hear the talk in the staff canteen. Different room every five minutes. Half of them reckon Sir Charles Watson will take over. Half reckon it'll be Mr. Lever. Well, wouldn't they like that? Well, it isn't a question of what they'd like, is it? I've got a friend in administration, and he says 
that if either of them become chairman, there'll be a big sort out. Well, from what I've seen, Sir Charles and Mr. Lever seem two very nice gentlemen. Well, I'm not saying otherwise, am I? Only my friend says that it's common knowledge that they both disagreed with a lot of Mr. Dunrich's ideas. And he reckons they're going to be wholesale changes. Well, that's what he said. Hey, what is going to happen, Mrs. Thursday? Well, I don't know myself, Muriel. I'm still trying to take it all in. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? But you can be sure of one thing. Nobody's going to get the sack if I can help it. No, I suppose not. I'll dish up the grub in five minutes, OK? OK. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Lunch will be served in five minutes, madam. Oh, thank you, dear. Here. Muriel? Yes? Does your mum know about your friend in the, what did you say, uh, administration? Oh, I hope not. He's married. Fancy. Oh, excuse me. We're trying to find the dining room. We were told it was on this floor. Oh, yes, that's right. It's the second door on the right. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's the director's dining room. You'd want the staff canteen. That's on the first floor. Oh, thank you. Ah. Oh, I hope I haven't kept you waiting. Not at all, not at all. It's a nice room. Yes, it's um, quite pleasant. Silver. Yes, it's very attractive. Mind you, I've cursed it many a time. I beg your pardon? Well, it used to be one of my jobs, you know, keeping it clean. Took hours, too. Messy job. However, now they've got all these modern cleaners have taken most of the hard work out of it, haven't they? Uh, have they? <laughs> yes, I suppose they have. <laughs> well, might as well start, I think. No good letting it all get cold. <laughs> For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. Amen. Mrs. Thursday, there isn't very much time, you know. I think we ought to get these outstanding matters settled before the board meeting. You don't want to talk while you're eating. Why not? Not with your stomach. Oh, Mrs. Thursday, let me assure you that my... What the devil? Who are you? You're not supposed to come in here private. Don, Don Chambers! Hello, Mrs. Oh. Thursday. You wouldn't believe it. I haven't seen this young fellow since he was that high. <laughs> oh, and now look at the size of him. Where? And who's this? Oh, oh this is Joyce. Joyce Goodman. How do you do? Very Hello. pleased to meet you, dear. And this is Sir Charles Barker. And that's Mr. Lever. And that's Mr. Hunter. Uh, Sir Charles Parker? Yes. Well, don't say you know each other. Uh, no, although I've heard of Sir Charles, of course. Oh, it's a treat to see yes. you, Don. But what are you doing here? How'd you find me? We've been trying to get in to see you all morning. Well, nobody told me. Oh, that's wicked. Well, we know you're busy, but... Yes, we are. Very busy, just now. Ah, but never too busy to see a friend. Here, have you had your dinner? Uh, well, no. Oh, Muriel. Yes, Mrs. Thursday. Yeah. We can make it go round for another two, can't we? You say so. Oh, now there he are. Might as well have a bite. Oh, I'm sure we can manage. If you gentlemen don't mind. It's a pleasure, I'm sure. Not at all. Oh, no, welcome. But we do have some rather important business matters to discuss, so I really think that perhaps... Oh, well, they can wait. I mean, I, I haven't seen him for about five years. Oh, well, come and sit down next to me, both of you. You gentlemen... I wouldn't mind moving down one. Well, we don't want to break up. I mean, I just really wanted to have five minutes with you in private. You see, it is rather urgent. Oh, well, after you've eaten, oh, Don. Oh. Now, no arguments. Right. Well, how are you getting on? What are you doing? Well, do you think we could talk about it now? It is rather important. You see, it's about Mr. Dunrich. Oh, well, no later, Don. Oh. No, well, you can eat your soup. Oh. Well, how's your mother and father? Oh, well, um... They like their new house, do they? Yeah, they do. I did hear your father broken his leg. He had, yeah. Oh, it was a nasty accident yeah. for a man of his age, wasn't it? Oh, it was. How's he getting over it's it? Shocking. He's all right all now. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh well, never mind. Get on with your soup oh. now, and we'll have a talk later. <laughs> 